Hey guys and welcome back. I keep getting this question so I thought I would just uh, make a video out of it. That is how do I calculate and show only um, summer sales for the last 13 months or 12 months or 10 months or whatever the hell you want, right? So how do I do that? Well, there are two different ways to do it. So let's have a look at it, right? Let's start from scratch. Well, let's drop a bar chart, right? And this one, I'm going to say year month. The measure is sales amount. And now you see that I have for, yeah, my entire data set, but I actually want it only for 12 months. So what's the formula to do that? Well, uh, first I'm just going to sort this and I want the latest 12 months starting from today. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to go back, go into my sales amount and here, instead of this sum of sales amount, because that's going to calculate for the entire sales uh, data that you have, we're going to write a set expression and say only calculate if the order date is more than the last 13 months. So what's the formula for that? And we're going to add a set expression that is open and close curly braces, open and close angle brackets. And we're going to say order date because that's the dimension here. Order date is equal to, again, open and close curly braces, put quotes. And over here, you're going to say if it's greater than or equal to from today, let's go to the start of the month. From today, you want to see what the month start date was. And from that particular date, so if it's the 15th of July now, you want the 1st of July and then 13 months backwards, right? So we're going to say from today, month start. And to that, I want to add months. How many months do I want to add? Well, I, uh, I actually want to add. Well, let's say, so this, if I put 13, it's going to be 13 months in forward, right? So add months minus 13 and I close it. Good. Because with a calculation here, I say dollar. Good. So now we say order date greater than and equal to from today, get the start of the month. From that, you add months. How many months to be added? How many ever you want? So if you want the last 12 months, then minus 12. Um, I want 13 months, so minus 13, right? Uh, because I'm counting this month as well. And that should give you that should give you 13, right? But there's a problem with this because I have data that goes forward. So let's just let's stop that uh, calculation that is the sales amount only till today because I have some predictions for the future as well. So in that case, I'll say, but is also lesser than and equal to dollar sign. Uh, whatever today's date is. That is, I do want the sum of sales to be calculated for order dates which are greater than today, only from today and 13 months backwards. So this would be the formula, right? Apply. And now I have 13 months. So since this is July 2023, I have 13 months backwards, including this particular month. So that's one formula. Don't worry, I have this formula, I have the formula in the clicks and cheat sheet. So you know, all the formulas are here and I have a new way of interacting with the cheat sheet. That is, I built an AI bot that um, gives you the formulas that you need. For example, 13 months sales and I click on apply and it's working and you get the formula here. Pretty cool, right? More on that later. Subscribe, like and stay tuned for more on the click AI bot. Super cool. Um, but you have all the functions here, so buy the cheat sheet uh, and get access to it. So this is method number one, that is in your measure, you say calculate only for this. Then your dimension is automatically um, restricted to how many ever months the measure is showing, right? There's another way, that is how? Through the script editor method, that is in your master calendar. I'll have the link for the master calendar, calendar below. I've shown it in other videos. So if you wanna just download it and use it, do that. I have the master calendar here. I can actually create a flag over here in case that is I'm creating a flag here so that I can later call it in my set expression instead of writing a complicated set expression there. I could just use, you know, a super simple one that is here. I say if the my master calendar, the date is temp date, just like the order date comes under temp, temporary date um, is greater than and equal to. And here I say today month start from today. And for the month start, I wanted to add months. How many months do I want it to add? 
well i wanted to add 13 or minus 13 in this case i have an extra bracket here so minus 13 and temp date lesser than and equal to today then in that case give a flag of one otherwise make it zero right as uh, let's say rolling perfect right and uh, let me just convert these things so this is today i'm just going to make it into date kid and over here add months once you add it's going to give me a date so i'm just going to make this as well into a date okay and i'm going to click okay and now it's pretty much the same logic as before that is you're adding months from today minus 13 but in the end you only get one and zero for rolling months in your calendar and then you can just call that in your set expression right so let's load it let's go to the front end let's copy paste and here i'm going to go in remove this complicated one and say that if my rolling 13 is equal to one then in that case calculate the sales otherwise don't right and i click on okay and you get the same answer pretty cool right two different ways to do it check out the course stay tuned for an ai bot uh, click ai bot that gives you all the formulas and stay tuned sign up for the newsletter to get more info on it get the cheat sheet right now link below see you in the next one peace